A warm reception for former Botswana President Ian Kama. He has been exiled in South Africa as he fled fearing for his life. All those who were put in cells by police, those who spent Christmas holidays in cells, I would like to apologize to you because you were doing it in my name. You were doing it for me. I'm so grateful and I love you all. I would like to thank Botswana who sent messages to me when I was in South Africa. I would like to thank even Nigerian former president Obasanjo for helping me from day one. Kama has rejected accusations leveled against him. They started this issue when we were heading to elections in 2019 and I was accused of stealing 100 billion pula and Botswana did not have such amount of money and they don't know how to count money. In court they say there is nothing. In parliament the finance minister says he knows nothing. In 2020 I was told that these people want to poison you. I was shocked that even here in Botswana we can have such a situation. I don't know what happened with our country. <laughs> He also wants to reclaim his position as the chief of Mamangwate people. On the 5th of May in 1979, I was appointed as a chief by this court. Now there was a government gazette that shows I'm a chief of Bambangwato. But because I was still a soldier, they said there will be an acting chief. Then I continued with my military assignment. Now there is someone who is big-headed, who went to court thinking he is now the chief. <laughs> Botswana government has described as outrageous claims that they were part of the plot to assassinate Kama. Kyle Kumalo, SABC News, Johannesburg.